We're on our way to solve a mystery. I'll catch up with you when I'm back. I am back. So, I filmed this whole spiel the other day when I was really angry. <laughs> I thought I would redo talking about this topic and scrap that because I was being sassy. Mm. I went in today and I asked if there's anything in my PO box. She went to check and she came back with this parcel. She didn't say anything about it, she just handed it me. I was like, oh, thank you. Do you want to see what she handed me, everybody? This. And you know what? A bit of sass is fine, but too much sass, <laughs> you just look like a knob. Anyways, so I set up a PO box at the start of this year. Actually, maybe at the end of last year I set it up. For the first week or so, every time I went there was stuff there for me and that was fine. But ever since the second week of January, I've gone at least once a week, sometimes twice a week to check my PO box and they've just always said that nothing is there. And the reason that this was so frustrating was because I knew they was stuff there because I'd had it confirmed by brand. Sometimes when brands send you PR, they will send a chase up email like, hi, have you got this? We sent it a week ago, blah, blah, blah. So I'd had a couple of those emails. So I knew at least those products were there. And every time I went, I was just getting told there's nothing there for you. And it's not like you can say, I know there is though. Like, I don't want to look like an idiot. So I was always just like, okay. But then it got to a point where I was getting so frustrated because I thought something shady was going on. I thought they were going missing somewhere along the line. And I was really annoyed about it because some of these products I need for work. So if I do a sponsored job, I will get whatever I'm promoting sent to my PO box just in case I'm not home when it arrives so I can go and pick it up whenever. So the fact that they were always telling me there was nothing there reflects badly on me because then I've got to tell the brand I know you sent it but I haven't got it and it's just it's a whole thing and I never want to look like a bad person when it comes to work I'm an overachiever put it that way. <laughs> Mom and I phoned up Royal Mail and just like explained the situation that we knew that stuff was being sent there but I wasn't receiving any of it so like had it been stolen was it going missing all of these things, like what was actually happening to it. And they looked into it and did some research. Good on Royal Mail. <laughs> Love a bit of research. And they found that all of my stuff was there the whole time. People were just walking past it. What? <laughs> so I spoke to the manager of the sorting office and he was like, I don't understand how they're telling you there's nothing there because they have to walk past your pile to go to the P.O. box area. And I was just like, ugh. I don't know. Anyways, this has now been solved. They're now very clued up on what whatever was happening. I still don't even know. And I've managed to collect my PO box for the last few weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight things to unbox. But before I unbox them, I'm gonna flash back to yesterday. My manager actually got two things sent to my home address while this was going on. So I'm gonna show you those. Got a little PO box haul for you all. So first of all, Skinny Dip very kindly sent some stuff over. This jumper, I love. And then we've got this peach bottle, which is also gorgeous. They sent over three different phone cases, which is so good because obviously I've got the charging case, but sometimes I don't need to use that. So we've got this one with Thumper on. Then we've got this Daisy one, which my mum will love. And then we've got this cactus one. So cute. Skinny dip cases are my favourite as well because I just love the material they use and the pattern lasts literally forever on them. It doesn't scratch off. And then they also sent this little cupid bag i'm guessing this is part of a valentine's day range this is just a square makeup bag so thank you so much skinny dip for these bits and then cordially have also sent a serum looks like this is a hydrating serum dehydration relief non-oily finish moisturizing organic grape water and hyaluronic acid wow i need to give that a go i've heard really good things about hyaluronic acid then i've got a face mask a purifying mask which i'm also very excited to try i never do face masks because i don't don't own any so now I do then we've also got this beauty elixir I've heard so many people talk about this I think you just spritz it on and makes your skin look really healthy and we've also got a makeup removing cleansing oil this comes with a little pump again a huge thank you to Cordelie and a huge thank you to Skinny Dip if you guys like the look of anything definitely go and check them out I will link their websites below there's a tiny Nelson hello little pops you're so soft. Right, I thought I would talk you through some more of the P.O. Box bits. Starting off with IT Cosmetics. The foundation that I use at the minute is the... Have I got crumpet in my teeth? 
I've got crumpet here and I don't want my fingers to get sticky so I've cut it into strips. Lord Nelson, stop it. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. What are you doing? Oh, there's a catnip toy. I've been using the It Cosmetics CC Cream on my face. I love it. It's like the foundation that I just absolutely love right now and they've very kindly sent me two different shades so I've got fair and fair light this is such a gorgeous foundation honestly oh and it's got SPF 50 that's amazing it's very full coverage a little goes a long way but what I like about it is even though it's full coverage I can still see my freckles and stuff through it but yeah absolutely love that thank you so much it cosmetics they've also sent me a couple of brushes which I'm very excited to try I love getting new brushes. They look so nice as well. They've sent a Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've heard so many good things about this. So I can't wait to try that. And that is in the shade Light, which will be the perfect shade for me. We have got an It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love this. I've tried it before. It's so good at volumizing. Another little brush, which is like a double-sided eyeshadow brush. Then we've got Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Pressed Powder. And... A brow pencil amazing thank you so much it cosmetics can't wait to try all of that i'm so excited what are you doing i'd just like to add lord nelson's been sent a cat subscription box and he's just trying to get in it is there treats in that box let me in it i think i smell something nice i'm gonna have to open this box next to see what's in it this is from a company called gus and bella and as i said i think it's a cat subscription box but it's for like you and your cat so we've got this little plaque that says all you need is love and a cat fully agree some love belgian milk chocolate oh my god so nice oh there's a little toy called monty mouse oh my god I'll tell you who would love this, Lord Nelson, your brother Bean. Beanie loves to chase things. Oh my God, look. It's like a little mouse with a massive tail so you can swish him round. Goosey! Ah, Nelly doesn't often have treats because they really upset his stomach, but if he does have them, he likes these Vets Kitchen Little Heart ones. So maybe you can have a few of them, Nelson. And then we've also got Vets Kitchen Chicken. Oh, is that so exciting? And then I've got a pair of socks with paws on. What do you think to all our presents? I've got to find out what this is. It smells like rabbits. Catnip dental chew sticks. This is what my boy Nell wants from that box. He loves catnip. Nelly, do you want some tuna? Everything's tuna when we feed him because he knows that word. Come here. I think you love it. It's supposed to be a dental chew stick, not a rubby thing. Oh, I love it, everybody. I'm about to get high. You have fun with that, Bobbins. Nelly is the happiest boy in town with that. It says they're great for dental hygiene and safe and non-toxic to cats, which is awesome. Pause the screen now if you want to read this because it is really interesting. And there will be a box for March, so I'll leave their website below actually. Thank you so much for sending this. Nelly is loving that stick. Hourglass has sent me their new airbrush concealer. Oh. Ow. Oh, so this is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. It's apply directly to the skin using one to three dots under each eye. Blend with the new Vanish Concealer Brush. Apply formula remaining on the brush to the other problem spots. And it's vegan and cruelty free. So this is a concealer. I absolutely love our glass packaging. It's so fancy. I will try this in a vlog and let you know what I think. They also sent the brush. <gasps> That looks like such a good concealer brush. Thank you so much, Hourglass. There's a few more bits that I've very kindly been sent, but I'm gonna show them in a different video because I'm so aware that this bit is super long and also my crumpet is now very cold. I would like to eat it. Are you loving your stick? Mm -hmm. 